YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my April 2020 TBR. So April is going to be what I hope to be a great reading month because I have way too much free time at this point because of the coronavirus and school being shut down for the semester and having to do remote learning. The only thing that's really going to be keeping me busy throughout the month is going to be work because I am an essential employee so I have to go into work. Um, and unfortunately I can't work from home, so I will have to keep up with that, but that's really the only thing that's going to keep me busy throughout this month. So I hope to do a crap ton of reading because I am also doing the Owls Readathon, the Owls Magical Readathon hosted by Book Rose. I will link my TBR on the screen for you guys. That just went up a few days ago. And that's going to take up a lot of my time. I'm basically, after I'm filming, the, after filming this video, I'm going to dive right into my TBR for that. So I want to get this up as soon as possible so that, that can happen. But with that said, other than those five books, I have seven other books that I want to read in the month of April. And this TBR is going to be a little bit different because I have a set of challenges that I actually got the inspiration from Haley and ba Bookland to do. So I wanted to incorporate them into my TBR as well. So I'll link her video down below where she explains it. With all that said, let's jump right into the TBR without me rambling on any further. The first challenge is a backlist book, which is a book that has been on my TBR for more than a year. And for this, I am going with The Devil's Labyrinth by John Saul. This is a five-star prediction I had. I did a video a couple of years ago talking about the five-star predictions I had for some books. I will link that video on the screen as well. This is the last book off that list that I need to read, and it's about time I get to it because, again, it's been probably close to three years since I uploaded that video, so... Gotta get to this one. This is a adult thriller and it is taking place in Boston. Actually, it kind of takes place over multiple timelines. So it follows uh, this symbol here on the back that says in the synopsis, in the 4th century it was found in the catacombs of Rome, then it was in, in the 16th century it was inscribed on a scroll in Spain, and then today it's about to be discovered beneath a historic building in Boston. That's all I know. I love books set in Boston since that's where I grew up, so I'm really excited to dive into this one. Challenge is a sequel for this. I am going with The Wicked King by Holly Black. This is the second book in the Folk of the Air trilogy. I read The Cruel Prince quite a while ago. I want to say it was probably close to two years ago now, right after it came out. And I have yet to continue on with the series. I enjoyed the first book enough to want to continue on. I, I just haven't had the chance to yet because I forgot everything that happened in that first book. I chose this one for the sequel challenge because I actually rereading The Cool Prince for the Owls. So I think right after I'm done with that, I'll dive into this. So yeah, this is a YA fantasy series that is taking place in more of an urban fantasy setting. It follows our main character, Jude, who as a child, her parents were killed by a fae creature and her and her sisters were taken from the fae or the human lands to the fae world. We follow them 10 years later where Jude is trying to become a member of the fae court and there's a character named Cardin who is known as the Cruel Prince and that's all I'm gonna say. Most people have read this series, I'm sure. You've all heard about it. Um, again, I really did enjoy the first book of the time, so I'm excited to see what you think about the second book. Our challenge is an ARC or an advanced reader's copy. For this, I am going with Wicked As You Wish by Rin Chipeko. This came out in March. Most of the ARCs I have right now, her books have already come out. So this is one that I got in the December Fairy Loop for 2019. And this is another YA urban fantasy. And it's following our main character who lives in a world where the Snow Queen has like waged war against this powerful country where the character is living. And now we're following that character kind of seeking revenge on the Snow Queen. I think I described it when I first got this in the mail as like Once Upon a Time meets Frozen, which I mean that sounds right up my alley. So Hopefully I enjoy it. I haven't heard too many things about it, so I'm really excited to see what I think. The next challenge is a new release. So for this, I'm going with All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. I got this in my January Alucrate, I want to say. And I honestly don't know much about it. And I haven't heard the greatest things, if I'm completely honest. It is another YA fantasy, and it's taking place on the ocean. And it follows a pirate and, like, a mermaid and that's all I know. I think it's a little mermaid retelling. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. 
Um, but yeah, I again haven't heard the greatest things about it, but I want to give it a chance. Next book on my TBR fits the challenge for a fantasy or sci-fi. For this, I'm going with another reread, and that is Zenith by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings. This is a book I read back again when it first came out. Actually, I had an arc of this, so I read before it came out a couple years ago, and I actually gave it five stars. I really enjoyed the story, but I also don't read a ton of sci-fi, so that's probably why I enjoyed it so much. Now, I heard, I know I've heard, like, bad things about this book, but again, I really enjoyed it at the time. I do have the sequel as well, Nexus, and I want to continue on with the series. This is only duology, so if I don't enjoy this first book upon this reread, then maybe I'll enjoy the second one. This is a YA science fiction following main character Andy, who is part of this girl gang of space pirates and she has to team up with her ex to find this leader's uh, kidnapped daughter and that's all I'm gonna say. Again, I really enjoyed it at the time. It's kind of like a guilty pleasure read because I know a lot of people don't like it but again, I loved it so we'll see if I still enjoy it to this day. Next we have my big book. So book over 400 pages and for this challenge I am going with one that I've already started and that is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. This is the second book in the Akatara series. This is one of my favorite series of all time. It's basically tied with Harry Potter as far as my all-time favorite series. It is almost 700 pages long and again this is a reread for me. So I can probably fly through it if I really sit down and give the time to it. I absolutely love this. This is a new adult fantasy series following our main character Feyre, who in the first book, Akatar, which is a loosely based Beauty and the Beast retelling, is hunting one day where she kills a wolf. She thinks nothing of it and then she finds out later that day that that was actually a fae that she killed and basically the repercussion of that is she has to live out the rest of her life in the fae lands and it takes off from there again the first book is a beauty and the beast retelling this one is a hades and persephone retelling i love it so much i've already tabbed it quite a bit and if you guys have seen my vlogs you know why i'm tapping it so much so really excited to reread that second last book i'll be hoping to read in the month of april is going to be the kingdom of back by marie lou this is one of my most senses for releases of 2020 is also the chapter by chapter book club book of the month for the month of April. If you guys do not know, chapter by chapter is a book club I run over on Goodreads. The link is always down below. Why can I not speak today? And this is our April pick. I am so excited to read this. This, again, was one of my most anticipated releases of this year. And I love Marie Lou's books. I have read the entirety of the Legend Trilogy and I've read the first book in the Warcross duology. So I'm excited to see what her newest release holds. Most of her books have been more on the science fiction as this is more of an urban fantasy. It follows Mozart's sister and that's all I'm gonna say because that's really all I knew going in. I think there's some sort of fantasy element as well as historical fiction. So again, sounds right up my alley. Can't wait to dive in. The last book that will be on my TBR is gonna be my TBR jar pick for this month. So I haven't done this in a while, most because I've had very ambitious TBRs for the last few months. So I gave myself a break and now I'm back to doing this. So if you guys have never seen me do this before, if you're brand new to my channel, I pick one title every month out of the star. It has every single on red book on my TBR. So let's go ahead and pick one. I've gone ahead and shaken it up and now let's pick a title out. I don't know what I'm going to pick this month. I'm not in the mood for like anything specific. So let's see. So, my pick for this month, okay, that will be an interesting one. Alright, so this month's TBR dry pick is going to be Again But Better by Christine Riccio. This is Christine's debut novel. She is a fellow booktuber. She's over at Pull of Bananas Books. I'll link her down below if you haven't checked her out already, which I highly recommend doing so. This, again, was her debut novel. I have not heard the best things about this, but I think I'm actually really going to enjoy this. This is a... I think it's more on the new adult side of contemporary following our main character Shane who has like a very bad first experience at college so she decides to take the uh, study abroad program and go to London and there is obviously a romance involved. I actually connect a lot with what I'm getting out of the synopsis because I had a very similar experience 
with my first time in college so I think I will be able to connect it with the character on that level but we'll see what else happens. That is everything I plan on reading in April guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe now already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you guys are reading this month as I would love to know and as always all my social media links are linked down below for you guys to check out if you'd like to follow me on any of those. All being said I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye!